Okay, we're going to have a go at using this CO2 laser, 80 watts, uh, to cut this carbon fibre. Here's a little demo cut circle key ring carbon fibre. I'm going to use 2 millimetres a, a second travel, 80% of the power. I'm going to scan the text in there at 200, at 30 power. I'm going to boot the machine up, turn the laser on, turn the machine on. Should probably leave the laser off until we've done our setup. Um, I'll turn it on now just to stop myself from starting the machine without it on. One little test cut there, gonna flip it over, clean bit of material, line that up. Now it's quite important to use this scientific tool to check the focal point of the laser. See a lot of people complaining about lack of power from these lasers, but if you get the focus right, it shouldn't be a problem. We're then going to uh, set the origin, press the frame button, and check that our component is going to fit exactly where we want it. So as I mentioned, I think this is 3mm thick carbon fibre. I have placed a camera in there to get a better shot, but it doesn't come out well, uh, good enough to include in the video. So scanning away here, so engraving the text into the surface. As always with any laser it's really important that you're wearing uh, some sort of safety goggles. Must be uh, rated for the type of laser you're using, in this case an infrared laser. You can see the slow travel there on the screen, built-in controller. Um, again, really can't stress enough about wearing correct goggles. This screen is supposed to prevent the laser coming out but I'm not sure how good it is. Also really important to have a, a proper ventilation area, a ventilation system. We've got all sorts of gases coming off here, possibly some chlorine from the epoxy. Uh, the vent is venting well away from all windows and doors, anywhere that people might be walking past. Okay so job's done. Let those uh, fumes get out for a minute. And there we have it. You can see that camera out the way. You can see quite clearly the carbon fibre is uh, in, uh, engraved in there nicely, but the uh, cut has been really bad. It almost seems to heat the carbon fibre up under the layer of epoxy and actually cause quite a bit of melting around the edge there. Just going to give it a right push, check it doesn't come out. Another thing to be careful: carbon fibre is splinters, and yeah, mess.